Have you ever wondered if empty space is truly empty? An intriguing query, isn't it? Well, in the realm of quantum physics, the answer is a resounding no. This brings us to the fascinating concept of the Casimir effect, a phenomenon that challenges our very understanding of what we perceive as emptiness. Imagine this, a seemingly vacant space devoid of matter yet teeming with energy and particles that flicker in and out of existence. It's a concept that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's very real. Named after the Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir, who first proposed this theory in 1948, the Casimir effect has been a subject of scientific curiosity and extensive research. This counterintuitive phenomenon has sparked debates and inspired theories that push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. In the world of quantum physics, empty space is a bubbling, boiling brew of virtual particles. Imagine a pair of uncharged metal plates in a vacuum placed close to each other. Visualize this scenario not in the vast expanse of space, but in the infinitely small world of quantum physics. These plates are not subject to any forces, yet they begin to move closer. This is the Casimir effect, and it's a fascinating glimpse into the strange world of quantum mechanics. Picture these plates as two ships on a calm sea with no wind or current to drive them. Suddenly, they start to drift towards each other. This is puzzling, isn't it? Just like our ships, the plates seem to be drawn together by an invisible force. But what's causing this? The answer lies in the quantum world where nothing is ever truly at rest. This is the realm of quantum fluctuations, where particles and antiparticles are constantly popping in and out of existence. These fluctuations generate tiny waves similar to the waves on our sea. Now imagine these waves as a swarm of energetic bees buzzing around our plates. Between the plates, where the space is tight, only the smallest, least energetic bees can fit. Outside, where there's more space, both small and large bees buzz freely. This creates more pressure on the outside, pushing the plates together. That's the Casimir effect, a manifestation of quantum fluctuations. It's as if the universe itself is saying, even in a vacuum, I'm teeming with activity. However, it's not all just about invisible forces and quantum bees. The Casimir effect has real-world implications. It's a fundamental consideration in the design of nanotechnology, where components are so small and so close together that these quantum effects become significant. So in the grand scheme of things, the Casimir effect is a small but incredibly significant player. It's a reminder that in the universe's smallest corners, extraordinary things are happening. It's a testament to the unending curiosity of scientists who look at two plates moving together and ask why. In essence, the Casimir effect is a fascinating demonstration of quantum fluctuation in action. The Casimir effect might seem like a quirky trick of quantum physics, but why should we care about it? Well, let's dive into it. This phenomenon is a testament to the strange and unpredictable world of quantum physics, a field that's revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. With the Casimir effect, we've got a glimpse into the invisible forces that play a crucial role in our cosmos' structure and dynamics. But it's not just about the big picture. The Casimir effect also has some pretty exciting implications right here on Earth, particularly in the emerging field of nanotechnology. Imagine tiny machines powered by the limitless energy of the quantum vacuum working tirelessly to revolutionize medicine manufacturing and more the possibilities are truly mind-boggling so in the grand scheme of things the casimir effect is more than just a scientific curiosity it's a a window into the strange and wonderful world of quantum physics to continuously be enlightened like and subscribe